yeah, I have been motivated, inspired to talk today because I've been uh, faced with a lot of um, questions as to, I mean, the issues that I personally deal with in life. How do I, um, how am I tackling them? How am I um, facing them? What are my remedies? So I feel that, I mean, I'm not the only one that is in this sort of position. Uh, I believe that uh, we all have challenges in life, and uh, and but what separates us from each other is how we handle them. You see, most importantly, you must believe in yourself. You must have this uh, confidence that you can overcome any trouble that tend to confront you. And that's why the Christians say that no matter how big your problem is, you have what it takes to overcome them. And I believe that in every part of us as human beings, uh, we have something that has been deposited in us that most of the time in life we go through life without having to actually to use them and so we become we, we limit our mindset we limit our thinking and because we limit them we don't we don't grow we don't we don't we don't aspire we we aspire but we cannot achieve our aspirations because of things like this so I want to tell you today that uh, it doesn't matter what you go through you must see yourself as somebody who can, who have all that it takes to overcome. Uh, challenges could range from emotional problems, financial problems. Um, some people face some spiritual challenges, you know, sometimes they sleep, they cannot sleep, they get nightmares and things like that. Um, so there are different kind of challenges, you know, but at one time or the other, no man on this planet Earth is free from any of these challenges. Mine could be financial challenge, Yours could be an emotional challenge. Somebody else's own could be um, um, spiritual challenges. But at the end of the day, there's one thing that we all have in common. And that one thing is the fact that there is something in us that can make us overcome it. For instance, I, I, you know, I have gone through challenges from when I was small. And you will agree with me that there, are, there comes a time in your past that you faced a certain kind of challenge and at that time there was no so, there was no solution to those problems and you thought you never thought that you were going to overcome them but time had passed and now you look back to those challenge and you're asking yourself how did i overcome them that's how it is some people think that some people tell themselves they say well i think i need money okay you need money or they feel that when they get the money their problems are solved but unknowing to you your problem can never be solved. When you overcome the first challenge, then there is a tendency that you will be faced with another challenge. But the good news is, when you overcome the first challenge and you get to the next level, you become a better person. I'll give you an, a simple illustration. Just recently, I, uh, I, carried, I carried out a renovation in my house. And the guy who was doing the work, and while he was doing the work, I asked him a question. What do you observe from what you're doing? And then he wasn't so sure what my question was, but I'll tell you now. When you want to do renovation in your house, you look at your house, your house is in good condition, but you want your house to improve. And then what you do is that you say, okay, well, I want to get a new set of television. I want to change my wallpaper, or I want to repaint my house. I want to change the chairs. And then you call somebody to fix them for you. And what does the person do? He starts destroying your house. He starts not destroying your house, but he's try, he, he tried to pull the old thing out and put a new one. And then in doing that, you get debris in your house, you get dust all over the places, you shift your things in a way that when you come into your house, you cannot even have access to your house. You are inconvenienced in that period when that renovation is taking place. But after the renovation, what happens? Then it's time to clean up. And then you start packing up all your stuff. You start cleaning up all the debris. And at the end of the day, when people come, when you've done those processes, your house becomes the desired dream that you had wanted your house to be. That's how our life is. That's how we should see our life. When you ask yourself that I want to have more money, but you must also expect that at that period in time when you're asking yourself for more money, financial challenges are gonna come your way. It's gonna appear as if you don't have money anymore. Your bills are gonna be mounting up. Your, 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 the people who owe you will not remember that it's time for you to pay them. 
You know, but you have to comfort yourself by telling yourself that this moment cannot last forever. This could be the building process towards achieving that desired goal that you have set for yourself. I want to assure you today that nobody is after you. Nobody is affecting you physically or spiritually. I always tell myself, when I get disappointed in appointments, and I get what I am not expecting from those appointments, instead of regretting, instead of leaving those offices, I tell myself that why am I bad luck? I usually leave those offices telling myself that it is because I have not met the right person that will make that thing to come to fruition. That is why I've had this disappointment. And you will agree with me also that when you go through those process and you are patient enough to observe how the end how the end will come, you see that the disappointment was actually opening doors for more appointments in your life. Home trouble. I don't believe in home trouble. They might be there. People might have reasons to believe that they can affect your life. But I am one person that don't believe in them. Why? Because I strongly believe that as a human being, we are not free from troubles. So when, 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 I, get my, when I face my problems, I see it as a stepping stone to my next progression. So what I do at that moment is instead of looking at the negative things around that problem, which are usually very overwhelming, which are usually so mountainous that you might be blinded, but in the midst of those many challenges, many difficulties, many odds that surround those difficulties and challenges, there are blessings. There are blessings. What are the blessings? For instance, I am facing charges right now, and people tell me, oh, it is because, maybe it's like this, maybe because you didn't do that, you didn't do this. I don't want to be in the school of thought of those people. But what I've learned from it is that these processes has made me known people, has made me see some things that I never saw before. So these are the things you can pick from your challenges. And all you need to tell yourself is the common quotes that we hear every day, that no condition is permanent. You must know that no matter how dark the night is, it must surely break into a day. There is no tunnel. The moment you step into a tunnel, you begin to see some dark moment. But when you continue to drive, there is always the light that comes immediately after you come out of that tunnel. There is always a dark side in our life. And we must be strong enough to hold on to ourselves and believe in ourselves. You can stand up in the morning because one of the first things that happen to you when you wake up in the morning is the thoughts of negativity tends to overweigh the thoughts of positivity. How does that happen? When you wake up in the morning, you are so happy, you are excited, you look at your family, there is reasons for you to be happy. And then what happens? You tell yourself, you tell yourself, oh, this day is going to be good. And then something within you, something within you tells you, Look at you that is saying this day is going to be good. You've not even paid your rent. <laughs> the bills are mounting. <laughs> when was the last time you sent money to your folks in Africa? Look at you. You're not even ashamed of yourself. And that those thoughts start taking the place of the happiness. And before you know it, you are now a sad person. Before you know it, you are now thinking very negative. You leave your house not becoming a happy person. Let me tell you this. When you wake up in the morning, look straight in your mirror. Admire yourself. Tell yourself. How beautiful, how handsome you look. Tell, begin to count the blessings that you have seen. Begin to hope for even those that you are yet to see. And then when you believe within you that you have the capability to overcome your challenges, it shall be as it is. You know, there's this popular law of attraction that they talk about. Law of attraction. The thing is, I always believe that you are what you think. Whatever you're living in life today is as a result of what you thought about yourself yesterday. And what you will live tomorrow is going to be as a result of what you think about yourself today. So you must live every day in positive spirit. I'll give you a simple example. I just bought a new car. And then the, before then, I had been thinking, when I knew the car that I was going to buy, anytime I drive on the way, uh, that is when I begin to see the car. Oh, that is the car. Oh, that is the car that I want to buy. That is the car that I want to buy. You see, if you don't think about it, 
you will never be attracted to those places. So when you think positively, you will be attracted to positive things. It does not matter the route with which you follow to get there. I want to assure you today that there is still something left in you that has the ability to overcome the challenge that you are currently facing. And believe me, if you continue to live a life of positivity, positive things will begin to happen to you. And that people will come and ask you, how are you going through this process.